Okay, here it is. Uh, this once again goes back to high school algebra. This is more of an exercise in high school algebra than it is an in integration. Because you should look at this polynomial and realize that it cannot be factored. Why can it not be factored? Because if there was a 4 instead of this 5, you would have a perfect square on the bottom. When you have x squared plus 4x plus 4, that's perfect x plus 2 squared. You must be able to recognize that. So that will produce plus 4. So this is not plus 4 because we have plus 5. It's this plus 1. So it's a sum of two squares. cannot be 0. And if a polynomial cannot be 0, it cannot be factored. Because if it can be factored, then it has roots and then it can be 0. So this cannot be 0, therefore cannot be factored. So actually, we're pretty much done because we're looking at 1 plus something squared. So it's arc 10. So I will actually stop with all intermediate steps, not do any of the intermediate steps, and just write out the answer. So it's just arc tan with a shift. We spent an entire lecture talking about shifts and how innocuous they are. That shifting x by 2, in this case to the left, just shifts the answer by 2 and doesn't make any other changes. Okay, let's see. What if we had x on top? Once again, this cannot be factored. It's the, it's the exact same denominator. So in this case, because there's more work to be done, I will actually rewrite it in that form. So now I can no longer recognize arc 10, because it's not just 1 plus something squared on the bottom. There's actually x on top. So my, at first sight, I will go for arc 10, and then realize that I have to reject that direction. So I will next go for 1 over, 1 over something, hoping for a log. But if that were to work out, what we have in the numerator must be the derivative of this expression. And is it? And my answer to that is close enough. Let's see that. What's the derivative of the denominator? Let's do it here. Two x plus four. Okay, here's what I'll do, which will save you a lot of algebra. I need two x plus four in the numerator, but I only have x. Well, I'm just going to write what I need. 2x plus 4. This is what I need. And I will turn it into a form that will actually make it equal to x. So I will, in other, in other words, I will express x in terms of 2x plus 4. So here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to write 1 half. That gives me x plus 2 minus 2. Do you see how all I did was essentially rewrite x in a very, very fancy form. But it's not so ingenious because I know what I need. So I wrote down what I need and then just modified it to make it what I actually have. And so now the rest writes itself. So we already discussed what, would, what, would, what we would have if it was strictly 2x plus 4 on top. We would have And then separately, because I'm essentially breaking up this fraction on the numerator, it will be minus 2, what we discussed just a moment ago, plus a constant. So you see, even though I only had one minute, and I was nowhere, right, if you just write the numerator in an insightful way, the answer pretty much presents itself.